Hey there guys, Jimmy from Glassy Gaming here, bringing you a new video. Now, as most of you know, I recently put out a video asking for some questions that I could answer on my, you know, recent video in the comments. Now, a lot of you gave me plenty of cool questions to answer. I'm going to go through them all one by one. I, there's a couple repeats, I think, but it's fine. I'll just answer the question again. I don't really mind that much. But here we go. Adio45 asks, how old are you? How old were you when you started computer gaming? And which was your first computer game? I am currently 19 years old. I was about like 11, maybe 10 when I first started like really computer gaming. But I played on a computer before, like when I was maybe like eight or nine, because my, my friend, it was a family friend had Battlefield 2, I think, or it was some Battlefield game. It was a really old one on his computer and so he like you know told me hey James come you know try this game out and so I tried it and I loved it and it was so much fun and so that's like kind of where the spark started but the first computer game that I really like got involved with was Combat Arms that's a free to play game by Nexon it's completely and utterly garbage and uh, it's, it's bad don't even look for that game it's terrible Purple Ninja asked how did you get started off in trading from nothing or did you buy in thanks I have a video on my channel called uh, I think how I got started in TF2 trading and it talks about that but basically I unboxed a burning flames handle uh, with my very first like crate key thing and I like started off trading with nothing and I got lucky and unboxed an unusual so that's basically I started from nothing. Club Milk 12 asked face reveal um I'm probably gonna be doing some face cam videos and face cam live streams eventually I just don't really want to do it just yet, uh, but you know. Anti Skanger asks, worst relationship plus are you a virgin? Yes, is a serious question. That's fine, dude, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm not a virgin. I am 19. It's kind of hard to be a virgin at 19, but hey, you know, if you are, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with being, you know, abstinent. Uh, my worst relationship was probably my most recent one with my ex-girlfriend. She was a really, really awful person, and honestly, so was I, but... I was emotionally manipulated in a lot of ways and it sucked so I learned a lot of lessons from her though and I'm thankful for that and hopefully I never have to deal with it again. Zernabog Nabokov, which is a great name, asks, do you accept Lenny in your life? No, fuck that terrible, awful, ugh, dude that thing, okay, Lenny face has been so outdone for like a year now or some shit like it's so old and so boring get that out of my face man it's crazy naruto one three one two three four five five four three two as well as jeremy d'souza ask how old are you again 19 the knifing zombie asks can i be a community admin way no no you can't you suck just kidding you don't suck but you can't be an admin anywhere sorry buddy don't worry i'll get admins for that various things later on but you know wow it's tessie which is probably tess Describe your ideal date night. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> like, I actually don't. Like, uh, I guess day tripping would, like, be cool. Like, going to the city with a cute girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, just hanging out, having a good time. Like, going, seeing, like, the sights in, you know, downtown, say, Detroit, or downtown Chicago, or some shit like that. would be pretty cool. But, you know. Lurpaki says, can you show your whole backpack, which I am doing right now. I'm going through each page, as you can see check that out it's really not that special i got some cool shit in there but not that much i'm still working on it obviously but you know Midnight High asks, Hey, I got a question. What other games do you play except for MMOs? Do you have a particular genre you mainly play? What games made you happiest to complete? Any of these questions will do. Have a good one. Um, when it comes to other games, I, I play like, you know, Counter-Strike and Dota and uh, Binding of Isaac I've been getting into quite a bit recently. And I, I play like a lot of various like games, like a bunch of different silly indie titles and just whatever my friends want to play. Like, I'll play anything, dude. Like... I sometimes play COD 4 and Mono for 2, like, when I can, and, like, like just random stupid shit, you know? Uh, favorite genre? 
probably shooters, honestly. Like, I, I just feel at home with a, with a good shooter. Sniping has always been fun for me, no matter what game it's in. Even though I suck in TF2 sniping, I used to be a very, very good Call of Duty 4 sniper and was on a competitive team for COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, but that's an old, old, old story. And what games make me happiest to complete? Honestly, dude, any game. Like, just completing anything like that, especially like a hard game, like that took me a lot of time like Binding of Isaac I just completed for like the first time ever and it took me a while and I'm happy that I finally did it you know just whatever Jack Garen asked how are you sexy M80 and face cam or not uh, I was born this way so there's that and as for the face cam it's coming I promise don't worry it, it'll happen Mega Charizard asks dream unusual existing or not basically I have a lot of dream unusuals I have two right now that I already own which is the burning hat with no name and the Burning Bog Boy. I also have a bunch more, like a Burning Samurai or a Burning Razor Cut, or a Burning Dark Falkirk Helm, that'd be pretty cool too. Maybe a, a Burning Tartan Spartan, we'll see. Um, a Burning Dread Riding Hood, somewhat, but I don't want to spend that fucking amount of money on it because that's ridiculous. Um, and a Burning Bone Dome, probably. But I like, basically, I have a lot of like dream unusuals and they're all burning. Like, I love burning so much, I don't know why, I just do. It's what I've- Basti4298 asks, What was your best trade, most profit? I don't really know. That's actually really, really hard to say. Because I've made a lot of profit on a lot of different trades. I don't know, man. I mean, I traded like 9 buds for a clean Cloud9 Crones Dome once. And it was selling for like 20 plus buds at the time. And I turned it into like 15 pure and a secret salty dog. Ugh, I'm burping. But, uh, you know a lot of trades I've made a lot of crazy profit on and it's all just you know taking risks and shit like that dude you just gotta like know when to trade and when not to trade that's basically it insomniac asks what is your favorite hat that you've owned not a hat that you currently own one that you've traded away keep up the great videos well if it's one that I can't say I've already owned I'd say either my burning stash or my sunbeam samurai I don't really miss the burning stash anymore but it was still a really cool hat and I had it for like three years so, you know, it was one of my all-time favorite hats. I just eventually got kind of bored of it, you know? Like, that just happens. Uh, as for the Samurai, the Sunbeam Samurai I owned like three times. And it was always a really sweet hat. But I always wanted the burning one a little bit more. So, like, I was constantly reselling it. But that's just how it goes. Luke Angles asks, when you're trading, do you always look at how much it's worth and if you're making a profit? Yes. I, I pretty much always look to make a profit, even if it's a little bit of a profit. Like... And as long as I'm making some profit, I'm usually fine. So, like, I give good deals out all the time, dude. Like, it, it just happens. You know, I, I try to be fair when it comes to trading. I try to help people out. But usually, if I'm making a trade, I'm probably profiting from it, too. Just, that's how it works. Kyle Pereira asks, how did you find out about TF2 and how much is your backpack worth? I found out about TF2 through my friend Matt, who basically got me started with Steam. We started playing TF2 together, Gary's Mod. He kind of got me into trading a little bit. Just a lot of different shit. And how much is your backpack worth? Well, right now, I'm not too sure. Probably at least $6,000. I'd personally say more, but I'm not too sure off the top of my head. Uh, it, it, it's a lot though, I guess. I'm, I'm somewhat rich, you know. Oh, when the person asks if you could add a weapon in the game, what class would it be for and what slot? I don't really know. I, I, I really don't. like. I, I'm not very good at weapon ideas. I'm really not. Like, I'm fine with whatever weapons are in the game right now. Like, they're all there. <laughs> I can't really think of too much else that, like, I could really want, you know? Like, without being too overpowered, that is. Like, I could throw out, like, ridiculous suggestions all day for, like, really stupid overpowered weapons. But, like, fair, balanced weapons that would make sense in TF2? I have no idea. Bender asks, what's your VAC ban standing for? My VAC ban, which is a very common question I get asked is for Modern Warfare 2 and that's it. It's for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 just on this account and uh, that's that's it, you know. I, when I was a big Modern Warfare 2 player, I used to make Modern Warfare 2 montages. That was just like my thing back then. And I wanted to make cinematics, but there was no dev console, so I couldn't, you know, no clip in a private game and do some cool cinematics or anything like that. So what I did was I used a dev console hack. There was a hack that let you incorporate the dev developer's console into Modern Warfare 2. I got banned immediately because I forgot to use a bypass. That's just basically what it is. People ask me all the time if I'm a hacker. 
I'm not good enough to be a hacker. Like, you would know if I was hacking because I'd be, like, getting headshots all the time and shit like that. I'm not good. Don't worry. Goku Rice asks, what other games besides TF2 do you play on a daily basis? Uh, Dota 2. Dota 2 for sure. I play a lot of that. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Play a lot of that. Um, again, whatever my friends, like, want to play. Like, I'll play Far Cry 3 with my friends. I'll play... Like, I'll play whatever my friends want to play. Like, that's basically it. That's, like, all I can really say. Shinon asks, Would you try to make a video with some of the TF2 YouTube all-stars like Star, Jerma, and Muselk? I would love if you did. Um, yeah, man. Like, if they wanted to make a video with me, sure. I'd be cool with that. And I already have, like, a lot of collaborations with other TF2 YouTubers, like, in the works down the road. And I've already done a couple, like, with, uh, with Ninja or Captain Meatly Boy. I don't know what he's going by now. He hasn't made a couple videos recently, but, you know, it's whatever. But, you know, I, I love to collaborate with people as long as I can find time to do it. Because, like, I'm not very good at making time for that kind of stuff. I'm kind of bad. Hudson Henderson, what was your dream unusual? Like I said, you know, anything with burning. You know, burning Howard No Name, burning Bonk Boy, burning Razor Cut, burning Samurai, burning Bone Dome, burning Dread Hi Hiding Hood, uh, burning, burning Merc's Mohawk. I want that. That'd be really nice. Just anything burning, dude. I love burning. Gold Moon asks, How do you think you're gonna react when you unbox an unusual, a good one? Um, <laughs> well, you know, it varies. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna be, you know, swearing a lot because that's just fucking how I do. Uh, but I'll be happy. Like, you know, unboxing something would be really cool, especially if it's for, you know, the Shadow Unboxing series because then I get to give, you know, an unusual away to you guys. Like, I wanna do that. That'd be awesome. Sons asks, Why you make Let's Plays? I don't, what does that mean, son? So I'm confused. Do you, like, want me to make Let's Plays? Like, you want me to start playing, like, other games as Let's Plays? Because I'm considering doing that. I'm probably going to be doing that eventually. I'm not going to stop playing TF2, but I'm going to, like, incorporate other videos in there, too. ZX Vipers, ZX Vipers asks, Why did you start TF2? And also, what was your first unusual? Uh, I started TF2, like I said, because my friend Matt wanted me to get into it. My first unusual was that burning handle on bot. Tibbs Leet asks, Tit or ass and why? Serious question. No. Mm, ass. I, I'm an ass man. I don't, I don't fucking care, dude. I'm all about the booty. Tits are nice, but just ass, man. Like a butt. A butt is so cool. Butts are awesome. Like, I'm sorry. They just are. Johnny Lonergan asks, what was your first unusual? Burning handle. Jesper asks, how old are you? 19. Super Perry 007 asks, when does a European server come online? And if it comes, can I be admin? Well, I will definitely work on getting servers eventually, but right now, I don't have the disposable income to throw out a server. I don't. I wish I did, because I love to, you know, host a bunch of servers and play with you guys, but I don't. I have a couple friends that work for server hosting companies, and I'm going to try to get them, you know, to help me out with that, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, it all depends, man, but maybe? I don't know. Apple Games NL asks, when do you go to sleep? Never. Bona AN asks, hey Jimmy, play the CSGO. That's not a question, but I'm working on it. I'm gonna make a bunch of, you know, CSGO videos soon. I promise. I promise. I've been practicing. I've been learning to control my anger. I promise. I fucking promise. It'll happen. Mark Morgan asks, why did you start making YouTube videos? Basically, I don't know. Like, I was talking to Aces Gamer one day, and like, I just got the idea, like, I was like, fuck it, dude, why not, you know, it could be fun, and so I started it, you know, I started because of Aces Gamer, and Star, and a lot of different people, you know, that were just, like, I guess, role models to me, like, you know, people that, you know, inspired me to make videos, like, I never thought that I was good at it, but, uh, you know, it's... I guess I'm okay at it now. <laughs> Titus Coldia asks, did you ever shark someone? And what do you think about sharking? I personally have never sharked someone. I have gotten an unusual for a strange once, and I'm not too sure how I did that. The guy traded me up. He said, hey, I'll give you this steaming handle for, your, it was like a strange, I, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was some like soldier weapon, I think, like a strange Liberty launcher. And I was like, are you sure, dude? Like that's, you know, I could just give it to you for like a couple refined. And he was like, no, I want you to take the unusual, you know, you look like someone that would want it more than me. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yep. And he was sure, and we traded. I said, thank you, he said thank you, and that was it. You know, he was cool with it. So, I don't know. If you consider that a shark, then I guess it is. But I offered to pay more. I offered to give him, you know, 
you know, I offered to give him more for than usual. I offered to, you know, sell him the item for less. And he was just like, whatever, dude, I don't care. And I, I ended up giving that unusual away anyways, because I was like, fuck it, dude, I got it cheap, why not? So it was whatever. Uh, but what I think about sharking, I don't like it. I don't like sharking one bit. And if you go out of your way to try and find someone to shark, you're a shitty person. Like, I actively try to stop sharking. I have premium on backpack.tf for that purpose. I add people all the time that look like they're new, and I'm like, yo, be careful if you're gonna sell this unusual. You know, don't sell it for weapons. Make sure you're getting your money's worth. If you sell for cash, be careful you're trading with someone that has rep. You know, it just, that's how it works. Kyle Rad asks, what was your first unusual or valuable item? I guess the burning handle. Like, I, I, I've had a couple of cool hats before that, but nothing of like real big value besides that. So, you know. Logan Anderson asks, if there is one, what is one trade you regret doing in the past year? If you can't remember that far, you can do the past six months. Um, I guess one trade I do regret doing uh, I traded something for a Time Warp Platinum Pickle Hob. I thought, you know, Robo on Robo looked cool, and it did look cool, but I ended up selling it for like not as much as I thought I would get, so that was kinda lame. Goggle Toad asks, do you love me? Of course I love you. You watch my videos, you comment on shit, you, you actively spend time doing stuff that, you know, helps me out, and that means a lot to me, so of course I love you. Cool Lotso asks, if you were to buff a weapon, or weapons, which would you buff? Honestly, I don't really know, like, all the weapons I use right now I feel are completely fair and are totally fine, so, if not overpowered, so, I, none, I guess. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good at, like, weapon questions, dude, I'm sorry. Mr. Shrimpy asks, have you ever done any kind of charity event for Team Fortress 2, and if not, are you planning on doing one? Um, I did participate in Tip of the Hats, I made a video promoting it when I wasn't really that big so it didn't really help that much I don't think, but still I wanted to make a video for it. And I made a video of like me playing in the pub, so that was pretty cool. I, I want to be involved with as many charities as possible, whether it's through Team Fortress 2 or otherwise. I like donating to things, I like helping people out, it's, it's good, you know, it's good for the fucking soul. Do it man. I, I'd love to. If, if there's a charity event coming up, I'm probably going to try and, you know, incorporate myself in there some way. Ritzy Vindictum asks, favorite Australian weapon? Um, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't really own any Australian weapons. The Sticky Launcher looked pretty cool, and the Aussie butts, Butt Sogger looked pretty cool. Butt Sucker. Uh, th those looked pretty cool, but I don't, like, really care that much about, you know, that. It's not really important to me. Dawin Ye asks, are you going to be doing Sixes or Highlander? Mmm. Not anytime soon, unless I'm like subbing in for a team, but uh, I will work on getting into competitive soon. I want to, I want to get better at TF2, I just can't really like put forth the effort right now. Competitive anything makes me too fucking pissed off, it's, it's, a, it's a hassle, it's crazy. Axel911 asks, what was your first unusual? Burning handle. Anthony Yu asks, make me famous, here you go, you are now famous. All 2,000 of my subscribers are looking at you right now. Good job. Planet asks, what is your favorite color? Red. Red, orange, those colors. I like, I like, I like, you know, I like warm colors. Blue is cool too though. Smash Bro asks, what are your favorite games other than TF2 slash Counter-Strike? Um, if we're not talking PC games, I absolutely adore the Zelda series. Uh, I also really love Smash Brothers, which is what you're named after, I'm assuming. Um, and Animal Crossing is cool too, and Pokemon, obviously. I'm a big Nintendo fanboy. Like, I don't really care about consoles that much, but I fucking love Nintendo. I love their games, I love a lot of Nintendo games, they're very dear to my heart, and I will probably buy a Wii U very soon. Uh, if we're talking PC games, I don't know. Audio Surf is a pretty fun, fun game, I like Audio Surf quite a bit. Um, there was another game I recently played, like, I, I like a lot of games, like, it just varies, dude. COD 4 will always have a very deep place in my heart, as well as Modern Warfare 2. Um, and Battlefield 2 is also a very big game for me, so that was, you know, a really cool game. And Counter-Strike Source, I mean, I said no CS, but still, Counter-Strike Source is a big game for me. It's, you know, whatever. Colton Nanny asks, I have an interesting question. When you did Glassy Gaming, did you do it for GG, or was it just a coincidence? It was purely coincidence. I didn't even fucking think about the whole, you know, GG guys or whatever until like way after. Like, I was like, oh dude, GG, good game, glassy gaming, oh my god, that works. And then like, it just like fucking flew. Like that's, 
It was purely accident, but it was a happy accident and I'm glad it worked. Austin Batista asks, what future plans do you have for your channel? And this is Fat Cat. What's up, Fat Cat? Future ideas for the channel. I'm gonna obviously continue with Team Fortress 2. That's like a staple for me. More Counter-Strike Global Offensive when I can. Uh, probably a Dota 2 series here and there. Um, a couple Let's Plays more than likely. I, I kind of want to start a Minecraft series. I know it's overdone and I'm sorry. I just really like Minecraft, dude. I, I love Minecraft. It was a fun game. You know, it's dumb as fuck. And I feel stupid as hell for saying I like Minecraft. But it's a fun game, dude. It, it wastes my time perfectly. You know, and that's, that's all I care about. Uh, probably a Binding of Isaac Let's Play. Uh, I intend on doing a lot more streaming soon. So that's you know, another plan, I guess. And a lot of collaborations, too. That'll, that'll happen, too. Lime Luxer asks, what kind of PC slash mic do you have? Uh, my PC specs are going to be put right here for you to look at. They're right there. Go ahead and look at that. And my microphone is a Blue Yeti. Uh, I may get a different one eventually down the road, but the Blue Yeti's been pretty good to me so far, so, you know, it's pretty cool. Vincent Nguyen asks, what what's your favorite class? I have multiple. Soldier, Scout, Demo Man, Sniper, Pyro. I kind of go on and off with these classes. Soldier and Scout are definitely my mains, though. Uh, and if I were to play competitive, those would be my two, like, competitive classes. Maybe Demo Man, but, you know, we'll see. But those are my favorite class. Alex Casillo asks, have you ever scammed a person? I don't ask to report you. We like you. No one is that much of an ass. Listen, if I did scam a person and I admitted to it, I would want all repercussions, okay? Like, literally. Like, if, if I were to do something that shitty, I would definitely want to be, you know, I would, I would take, you know, responsibility for those actions because scamming someone is a really shitty thing to do and I don't condone it at all. I have never scammed anyone. I have never planned on scamming anyone and I don't plan on doing it ever. You know, it's a really shitty thing to do, okay? Don't ever scam, ever. Omega Bear BBR asks, what's your favorite TF2 game mode and should Arena get added to the play multiplayer button? I don't know, you know, King of the Hill is fun because it's, it's a quick, you know, it's real quick rounds and it's really small, so it's like, you know, constant death matching is going on, so that's always fun. Uh, outside of like the actual game modes, Surf is pretty cool, Jump is pretty cool, uh, Saxon Hail is fun, Prop Hunt is fun, Dodgeball is very fun, you know. There's a lot of cool game modes out there, both, you know, in the core game and out. You gotta check them all out, dude, they're all fun. And then should Arena get added to the play multiplayer? No. I do, I do not think that new players need to be playing Arena. That's not a good place to get your bearings, okay? I understand that you may want to play a search and destroy type of game mode. I don't care. I don't give a fuck, okay? Arena, it's a fun game mode. Don't get me wrong, it's very fun. But if you're new to the game, it's not a place for you, okay? People play Arena because they want to try and, you know, basically do good and without, you know, they want to learn the game where they don't die as much and they want to, you know, get as many kills without dying. If you're new to the game, you're not going to do very well and you're not going to learn anything, you're just going to die a lot. And that's not fun for you and it's not fun for your teammates. Annie Moose Lives asks, why did you give me a Texas 10 gallon painted pink as hell? Uh, because I, don't, I felt generous, you know, sometimes I feel like giving shit away sometimes, it just it varies, you know. You sent me a trade offer and you're like, hey, it's not a key, but you know, I, I want to help you out. And that meant a lot to me, dude, you know, so I, I gave you something back. It was whatever, no problem. Mediocre Gaming asks, how much time do you spend playing versus trading and also what's your favorite class? I don't really play that much. Like, I really only play to get videos, which is kind of shitty, but like, I don't know, I can't, I don't like dedicate that much time to playing TF2 and getting better. Like, I should, I definitely should, but I don't, you know. As for, uh, as for my favorite class, mm, again, Soldier Scout. And I don't really trade that much either. I don't I don't go on the trade servers that often at all. Like if I do, it's because I'm really fucking bored. Like that's that's basically it. I don't I don't like trade servers, nothing gets done in them. You just kinda talk. Colin Steinwinder asks, why are you VAC banned? Again, Modern Warfare 2. They tried to use the uh, the, uh, the the dev console hack without a bypass, got banned instantaneously. Sliced bread asks your women preference. No, this is not a joke. You know, I'm not too sure. Like I like a lot of different girls. Um, a lot of different, you know, like, appearances are attractive to me. I will say this, I don't know why, but I've started to notice girls' eyebrows, like, recently. Like, if, you, if a girl has nice eyebrows, I'll be like, damn, nice eyebrows, let me holla at you. 
obviously I'm an ass man, so I, I like butts. Butts are cool. Um, but like, I don't know, I, appearances are, are different, you know? I like a lot of different things. As for like, who they are, I like girls that like the same kind of music as me, or at least have open minds to the music I listen to, because I listen to a lot of music, and music is very big for me. Also, if they play video games, that's cool, but they don't, they don't gotta. Like, I'm not like, oh, you don't play video games? You're not worthy, sorry. Like, fuck that, dude. Like, it's okay to not share all the fucking same things that I like. Like, I like difference. I, I like a variety of stuff, you know? Don't worry about liking everything I like. You don't have to. Wonder Raff or Waff asks, favorite band, genre, Personally, I like garage stuff slash punk. Thoughts on those genres? Garage and punk are awesome, dude. Punk is a very cool genre. I like the punk scene. Punk shows are always fun to go to. It's awesome. Favorite genre? I don't know, dude. Like, I like a lot of different stuff. Like, one day, I'll be listening to some fucking, like, ignorant ass, like, Chief Keef rap. And then I'll, like, move on to, like, some fucking Wonder Years. And, like, listen to some fucking, like, pop punk or, like, some, some emo or some scrams. Or just, like, some, like pretentious ass like hipster music like i'll listen to some fucking like bon Iver, like some folk music it all like varies uh and favorite band i don't know dude like recently i've been really 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 big on rookie town they're killing it right now uh you blew it killing it right now tiny moving parts they're killing it right now um let's see a lot of bands dude. i like a lot of different bands and it changes all the time like i my favorite band like that's really hard for me to say because i like a lot of different shit goo six says do you like men no i'm straight i'm sorry nathan wash asks what is your dream unusual slash endgame hat please don't say the obvious burning team captain slash burning ke believe it or not i don't like the burning team captain or the burning ke that much they're not that nice i don't it's not because i can't afford them i could afford them easily okay i don't want them they're just not that nice like i they're, they're okay. Like, if I were offered one and I was making a lot of profit on it, sure, I'd take it. But I wouldn't, like, buy it to keep because it's, like, not... I don't like them that much. Uh, I already went through my, you know, favorite Dream Unusuals, though, so look in the video. The Blue Engineer asks, why did you start TF2 trading? Basically, my friend Matt that I mentioned earlier who got me into TF2 in general, we were waiting for trading to come out. We knew it was going to happen eventually. And once it came out, my friend... Matt and my friend Evan were like, yo, trading's out. Look at these cool hats you just traded for. And I was like, damn, well, I want some cool hats. So that's what got me started. Chris Campbell asks, how much do you love me? Probably like 10, maybe maybe 11. I'm not too sure. CM Rocker 3 asks, what would you do if you couldn't access anything you enjoyed, like video games, internet, skateboarding, or stuff like that for a week? Probably die. Like everything that I enjoy, I can't, I can't do anything like for a week i'd either like sleep for the whole week or die on fairies well that's the end of it that's all the questions i was asked on the video i know uh, there's probably gonna be more questions asked later on and i'm gonna try to get to them all i may do another video later on down the road on a bigger channel so more people have you know more questions to ask me but thank you for asking all these questions thank you for wanting to get to know me i hope you guys learned a little bit this is probably gonna be a really long video so i'm sorry i'm burping a lot but uh, again, thank you so much for everything, you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Don't ever let anyone tell you you're not because you're all so fucking cool. I love all of you guys. Like, no matter how much some of you piss me off, because there are a couple of you that manage to piss me off just by, like, fucking with me, I understand. And it's cool. I still love you. You're great. I just, like, hit the fuck out of my mic, but it's okay. Peace the fuck out. I am tired. Good night.